Welcome back, Heavenlies. I've got some big news for you all, especially if you are into creating Pinterest pins for your blog or for social media. So if you've ever wished um, creating beautiful, high-ranking, performing pins would be easy, then I've got something just for you, and I think your wish basically just came through. In this video, I'm giving you a first look at Artistly's V6 brand new Pinterest tool, and yes, it's powered by AI. Whether you are promoting recipes, DIY, fashion, or digital products, you can now generate stunning Pinterest pins in just a few clicks. I'll show you exactly how to use the new tool in AI Design Assistant. I'll walk you through the Pinterest pin creator, and I'll give you some pro tips on how to get the most out of this tool. So if you are into selling products on Etsy, specifically digital products or print on demand, and you want to learn about all the software that we use, the processes that I implement, and how everything works on Etsy as a digital product seller, then please come and visit us uh, in our Facebook group, which is Clip Artistry Heaven for Digital Sellers. Uh, we'd love to have you there. And if you would, please subscribe to this channel and thumbs up the video because it helps with the algorithm and it will just push my content out to people like yourself. So grab your favorite drink and open up Pinterest and let's dive in. So before I get started with the Artistly tool itself, I want to show you ways that I have created pins uh, in the past. Um, I'll take you through four different systems, just an overview in terms of similar types of products that's available on the market, their pricing, and just like briefly how each of them works. The first one that I think most of you would be familiar with is Canva. Um, Canva is about $12 per month, and it's a tool that I simply cannot without in my digital product business. You can do anything from videos to AI image generation to creating ebooks. It's all possible with Canva. So before all um, these AI tools that just enables us to create a lot more, a lot faster, before, before that time, Canva was my go-to to create pins. And very simply, you would just go to Canva, you would go to a design, and then you would choose a template for, for Pinterest. And then you, whatever it is, depending on what it is that you are blogging or pinning about, let's go fashion, it will give you some templates that you would then go through, see what works for you, and then just make sure you change the wording the company's information, the logo, the colors, etc. So that's really how simple it is on Canva, right? So let's say, for example, this is something that you wanted to use for your own business. You would then just change the colors, add the logo, and then that would be your pin created. Okay, so the second one would be Tailwind. So basically, it's a pin generator or a pin creator. And also a pin scheduler, which means that you can uh, connect your Pinterest account to pin scheduler. And you can see mine has been disconnected for so long. I haven't been using it for like more than a year. Um, and I need to now reconnect my account, which is not something I'm interested in. Um, uh, I'm not using this, right? But back in the, back in the day, like I said, when AI wasn't our go-to, uh, these are some of the tools that we used. I can't remember what the cost is for Tailwind and I don't ever think I paid for it because you got like yeah it was a pricey tool back then and you got some free schedules credits right um and that's the pricing just to show you what the pricing would be that's the pricing for I think a lot of these tools with the arrival of AI uh, and and image generating power through AI, I think a lot of these companies have sort of dropped. This was not a cheap tool, and that was one of the reasons I didn't sign up. So that's um, Tailwind as an option. Um, and these are some of the ones that I created, more specifically for my accounting practice, not so much for Clip Artistry even, because it was, Artistry wasn't around back then. So this is for the finance business that I had. And more recent or a couple of months ago, I was introduced to blog to pin. So I also blog, so I write blogs for Clip Artist Raven. And um, this was a tool that was very interesting to me, and it's powered by AI. So generate AI images, tailored to your pages, etc. 
um, just some examples of what the output is of the tool, right? So also some free credits or you get a, a free period and then you can then later upgrade. So to upgrade here, you would, I can't remember the pricing, but let's check. So it starts on a monthly basis. It starts on $39 a month. Um, also quite pricey if you think about it. It's only for Pinterest, adapt, Pinterest and blogs, right? So you can't do anything else besides creating um, pins for and, and I don't know, designs for your blog. Um, unlimited Pinterest accounts, unlimited websites, 35 pins a day, 100 AI pins a month, unlimited uploads. So it just focuses on pin creation and I think blog banners, if that's your thing. So the last one I'm going to take you to is Content Goblin. And Content Goblin is very similar to blog to pin. Same sort of um, methodology behind it. It creates amazing, beautiful pins. Um, and it just, it scales the process of getting as many pins out there to get traffic to your sites, whether it's your blog site, your sales site, your sales funnel, etc. That's the whole idea. Why do people do this? It's to get the, tap into the free traffic, organic traffic that is available on Pinterest through pins. The only way people will get to your website is if your pin is highly appealing highly attractive scroll stopping and it will you know it will get someone to click on cutest dog breed and then click on it hopefully sign up on your website for a freebie and then get the person into your email ecosystem so that's also what they they do they it's a really amazing output that this is really a very a great tool for the purpose of pinterest so if you just pinterest focus then Yes, this absolutely works. I'm not. I do a lot of other things on for Etsy. Um, so I'll, the reason I'll show you Artistly is because they've now added an option. And I think if you, like me, selling digital products, you've got something similar and all the other benefits that Artistly offers, right? So you've got this. Um, that's an example of the output. And then just lastly, the pricing. Um, you can expect to pay monthly also $39 so it's very similar to this one so also 39 so obviously they competitors right so they check they check each other's pricing um and then that's what's included at the time when i signed up i think they were fairly new and i got like a freebie also like a week i don't know if it's still available but you can check it out right so that's how some of the ways that i used to do it before so over the weekend or on friday we had a live with yash at the um the team at Artistly, they've announced a new tool that they have created, which is, or added to the platform, which is called Pinterest Pin Creator, right? And this is how it works. So before I show you how it works, let me refresh and let me look at only my Pinterest. So those are my folders. And these are some of the ones that I've played with since, since it went live and available to users on the platform. So very quickly it's such an easy process um i'll show you how it works but these are just some of the outputs that i've created right it's fairly new so i haven't had a lot of experience but i thought i'll make a video and then you guys can share with me your designs if you're in my facebook group that would be great just drop your your creations in the group okay so you start off with ai design assistant right um, and there's a whole range of let me just make my screen look a bit bigger a whole range of tools under the AI design assistant. So if you need mock-ups to be generated, if you need a character to be created, photo editing to be done, 3D, sketch to 3D. So basically you draw, there's just a whole list and there's nothing, there's no video that's got everything about Artistly all in one. It's really, there's so much going on here. Maybe I should make one of those, but it will take a couple of hours. <laughs> but if you scroll down to the very right hand side, you'll see this pin is this tool is called Pinterest pin. You click on it. And the reason I said open Pinterest is because what we are doing is basically looking at a pin that interests you, depending on what it is you are into, whether it's fashion, clothing, food, just like a disclaimer. If you look at food, you might get hungry because these pins look amazing. Let's go to food. And all you need to do is if, if, if you are a food blogger, you've got your own blog, 
and you uh, publish recipes or whatever it is that you are doing if you are blogging on let's say for example brown sugar pineapple chicken and that's something that you want to blog about you can simply you can't see my my url bar but i am just copying and basically copying the pin url i'll go back to pin creator and then i'll just paste the url in this url bar yeah okay it will give you the exact same image that so will pull the information from pinterest exactly and at this point you are basically leaning on the mirror magic software in the tool now if you are an artistly user you will know what mirror magic um, is all about but at, that's basically what the system does so you can generate from this prompt you can generate a prompt and the idea here is not to have it exactly the same as per the inspired pin right so you get an opportunity to either copy the pin or you can enhance or edit the pin and here is where i would do my changes so i will say um the title this right and i'll say change title this to new text right lucille sticky sticky pineapple and then what you can also do is add at the bottom of the pin my url uh, text i'll say uh, www.recipes whatever your your website's uh, name is recipes.com okay and then you can ask the ai to edit the prompt for you so lock in your changes again it's not um you're getting inspiration from the pin we're not saying copy it completely right uh, what you can't do is generate more than one so it's fairly new maybe they will increase it i don't know but you'll you would want to set the dimensions to 9 by 16 because that's the size of a uh, pinterest pin okay if you're happy with that i've copied my pin generate and while you're waiting for that i would say go to uh, go to sorry autistic designer which is the v2 um, also recently published so it's, it's very new to us paste the prompt change 9 by 16 and then here you can go for quantity instead of having to wait every time uh, for one by one by one so now four is generating as well as the one that we generated in the meantime we can go to another pin just to further demonstrate okay let's see what do we want the food looks amazing right <laughs> um, let's go this one copy uh, this one so the pin pinterest pinterest pin creator is sitting in the ai design assistant and if you click on it paste the link generate the prompt at this point you change the prompt or make your edits okay okay change text tell the system which text okay. um, to text yummy mashed potato cheese puffs uh, remove this remove text that and add url okay now you can also do some other changes um chop um i'm just going to try use red color for text so now we edit the prompt and the ai will rewrite the prompt um, i would copy it and then change your dimensions over here and then just click on generate and again while we're waiting we can go back and this is this is the output so instead of copying the exact wording and everything else from the inspired pin you can go and make your changes 
the color of this banner could have been changed changed with the instruction to the AI um, and you can maybe even change the color of the bowl or the container that you want it in and I think it's done an amazing job now if you don't know Artistly is there's no monthly fees with Artistly you start with a commercial plan which is the entry plan at $49 but I would recommend just paying the premium plan which gives you access to all the tools in the system which will cost you $147 once off no monthly fees um, compared to these tiers which I shared with you earlier with limitations um, and it would be an ongoing monthly fee. The, what I like about Artistly is the fact that it supports my business and it also, uh, you know, the money that I paid up front, I am getting it back or earning it back through the, the sales that I make on um, Etsy. So it's once off, entirely up to you once off, or you can go for any of these other tools if you so so feel, but I don't think it's it makes financial sense. You can do the exact same thing with this new Pinterest tool, which is very new, which is why I made the video. So um, I will leave a link to Artistly in, in the description of the video. Let me just copy this um, prompt. We'll go back here. Go to assistant. Sorry, not assistant. I want to go to V2. So toggle between V2. Get your prompt here in AI assistant. Just to be clear, because there's a lot going on in Artistly, right? Get your prompt written by Pinterest by this by this tool, right? In AI design assistant from the inspired pin, right? Once you've got the pin written, you then take the adjusted pin. Go to AI Image Designer, go to uh, V6, which is the new updated, this was the old Artistic Designer, this is now the V2, Patient Prompt, go uh, Pinterest Size 9 by 16, go for Quantity, in this way you don't have to regenerate the same thing over and over, one at a time. Okay, so this is the, let's go to this one, you see this. there's no red here. I've adjusted the prompt and I've asked for the text to be read and that's the output. So you can make changes and it doesn't look exactly the same. It's not, it's not like mirrored. <laughs> it's not like completely mirrored. It's just, it uses the mirror magic power of Artistly, which we can also use in other ways in the system. And I do have videos on that, but you can see it's not exactly the same. And you can change the text like I showed you. You can put your name there, your company's name there. I don't know what happened here, but that's why I would recommend going in, creating the four at a time so that you don't have to wait for all the one by one generations. And I don't really see a big difference between the Pinterest pin creator and the um, V2 artistic designer. So let me know what you guys think. That's basically it. I don't think there's anything else I can show you. I've showed you the four other ways you can do it, ranging from Canva to Tailwind to a blog to pin and content gobbler. And then I've just showed you a demonstration of how you can now do that since Friday with Artistly. It's a once of payment and um, there's no monthly fees, amazing development team, support team, and I'm very happy with the system. So. Uh, check out the link. If you've got any questions further to what I've demonstrated, please um, drop it in the comment section and I will see you in the next video.